Hello everyone, my name is Amal Nirgudkar. I'm the CEO of Patient Prism. We're live again um, at Dykema DSO industry event, uh, one of the biggest DSO industry events in the, in the nation uh, this year, 1,306 attendees. And uh, Patient Prism has been delighted to interview some of the coolest people in this industry. And uh, it is my honor to welcome Tal Riesenfield uh, from Sunbit uh, into our studios. So welcome Tal. Thank you, appreciate you having me. Um, and I got introduced to Tal not too long ago, just about a week ago. And uh, I had heard about him from the news uh, where they had done this big $130 million raise um, to, uh, to create one of the coolest, not one of the coolest, but probably the coolest dental financing platforms in the country that truly leverages technology and makes it easier for both offices to get patients financed, but also um, makes it easier for patients to obtain financing. Uh, they do it through a, a variety of technology that's well beyond just the FICO score. Right, uh, right. Tons of AI included and all that stuff. So I got very excited. Um, one of my good friends um, introduced me to Tal. And, and it is such an honor to, 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 to think about new ideas in financing because it seems to be the most important, one of the biggest impediments why patients don't accept treatment. So welcome to the show. Thank you, and, and, and I'll start by asking you a few questions. Oh, please. I'll flip oh, it around. I, I, you got the microphone, so yeah. I'll I mean, answer them. So 40% so of Americans don't have access to $400. That's a fact. 40% of Americans, $400. $400, okay. Do you know what an average patient needs to spend in a general dentistry? Um, let's, let's take a guess, $1,200? That is accurate. So That's now, awesome. now take the two aspects. Forty percent of Americans don't have four hundred dollars, yes. and yet the average spend is a thousand two hundred dollars. How does that work? Where do they come up with the money for it? I'll ask you a, a, another trick question. What's the acceptance rate in in, in, in offices? Ballpark. How, what? K, K, how K, many, case acceptance. Case acceptance rate. It's at, at best fifty percent. Great. So okay. forty percent of Americans don't have four hundred dollars. Yeah. The average patient <laughs> needs to spend a thousand two hundred dollars, and we're surprised. That, 50, that there's a 50% acceptance rate. So acceptance right. rates is a huge problem. What we're offering in the industry is expensive for a lot of people. Right. Okay, so that, that's what we did basically. We built a technology platform. Yes. We call it buy now, pay later, smile now, pay later. Okay. That allows customers to split their purchases over time. And, and one of the big differentiators is that we approve 85% of customers. Wow. So every customer from a 500 FICO and above gets approved and we're not asking the dentist to be the bank. So we're, we're the funding source and we're letting the transaction happen and we're increasing acceptance rate. Um, how have you made it easier? Because when I saw the platform and all you, you showed me, Amol, give me your driver's license. And all you did is took a picture of the back and the front and boom, within like five seconds or 10 seconds, the, the result was there. Yeah. Is it that really easy? So first of all, yes, but we're in the people business. Right, right. And you and I know that. It doesn't matter how cool our technology yeah, is, right? right? Okay, there's, okay. there's a person there. Right. So we thought about what needs to be both the office manager and the customer in the patient experience, right? And we created a platform where we're not asking the customer, how much money do you make? Do you rent? Do you own? What's your social security? Those are private questions which are not fun for either side to ask. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, so, so we brought in technology. We scan a driver's license. The customer gets approved. It takes 30 seconds. You saw the demo. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 30 seconds, the customer gets approved, and you can put him on a payment plan, and he can get on with his or her life. So that's that's the concept, to make it simple, to make it easy, to make it transparent. So let's say, let's pretend this, right? I'm a patient. I sit there. Uh, I'm in the dental chair, right? And the, uh, the, the patient says, uh, the doctor says, you need two crowns. It's going to be $2,400, right? And, and then uh, I've done the stuff, and... And boom, the dental assistant the brings the, the iPad. And uh, I pull out my wallet, get my license, 30 seconds approved, pay my down payment right there, and there I go. Yeah. The, the sentence should be, it costs $2,000, but you don't need to pay for everything today. Okay. That, that, exactly, that immediately changes the mindset, right? Okay. And then we say, Mr. Customer, if you give me your driver's license or state ID, I scan you, you got approved for $6,000. Right there. Can we split it? We make it as simple as that, so that discussion around where, how can I fund it is supposed to go away. That, that is uh, the most seamless experience I've ever, um, ever imagined. What is it for the doctor um, in terms of uh, how much are they collecting from that? Let's yeah, say. so we, 
this is the beautiful thing. We pay the dentist the next business day the full amount mi minus the discount rate. So the, de the dentist isn't part of the transaction. You get paid tomorrow, the customer leaves, we then collect the monthly payments. If the customer doesn't pay us back, it's our problem. There's no chargeback. So we, we don't want the dentist to be a financing source. The dentist should take care of, of clients. Right. Um, so from the dentist's perspective, they get paid the next business day. It's an AC ACH, and, and they never hear from us again. And, and, and the servicing of the loan and everything else, you guys take care it's of? It's all us. Um, what's the maximum that can be approved? Yeah, for currently we're at $10,000, okay. which is enough for, I'd say, 90% of the 90 of of transactions. Anyway. Yeah. And, and again, I'm going to say the number again, 40% of Americans, $400. Wow. So, so $10,000 is a lot of money for a lot of people. Um, and, and the idea to approve them quickly, approve them through a soft check, so it doesn't impact your credit score, Mr. Customer, and, um, and get the transaction through quickly. Is there a way to, uh, especially if you have a new patient coming in, is there a way in your documentation or, or your communication you could tell them that if you should send us your driver's license, we could get you pre-approved, yeah. so, so, so you don't have to worry about payments and and could you Perfect. do that beforehand? So, so the pro we're a digital company, right? Yeah. So the process, it's technology driven. The customer can apply from the website. You can send him or her a link ahead of time. So all the transaction can happen either in the office, before the office, after the office, right? So the tools exist at, at all stages, but the infliction point many times is that time for your example, where I tell you, you need to go out of $2,000 out of pocket. So we, right. we brought a technology to that point where at that point, I'm actually on an iPad, I'm able to do that transaction so I'm not asking the customer to do something by themselves, but they can do that before, after, oh, through technology. Even after, so yep. you, can, you can send over a, an email it's a link, with yeah. a link uh, to everybody who, oh, let's say they have $2,000 of treatment more, $1,000 of treatment more, and, and, and it could be as low as, what could be the lowest amount of finance? $60. Really? Six zero. yeah. Wow, wow, yeah. that is fascinating because, because again, people, if they could pay over time, why wouldn't somebody want to do that? There's one more thing that's happening these days. If you buy online stuff, yeah. right? there's a buy now, pay later. I don't know right. if you bought anything, e-commerce, shirts, people are now sp splitting into four transactions. Oh, really? So this is a big thing now online. And, and you know millennials and everybody that's buying online is getting used to it. But when they come to the brick and mortar, when they come to the office, you ask them for $2,000. Yeah. Right? So we're, we're that. changing that paradigm. So what would... Um what does Sunbit, where, where, do, where do you guys fit? I mean, obviously I see where you fit. Because of the technology FinTech platform that you have, you're, you're, you're making it easier for doctors to present the, the financing. Because one of the big things that you hear from the big guys, Care Credit of the world and everybody else, that it, the, the conversations are hard to have and it's tedious and it's cumbersome and you have to ask all this information. And you're making that easy, right? And it's seamless. You're approving 85% of people uh, at what FICO score do you stop at? So we approve every customer from 500 FICO and above. Now, you might get approved for $5,000, I might get approved for $7,000, right? Depending, so on, depending on the risk profile, because remember, we take the risk. The Correct. dentists get paid tomorrow. But, but the idea is where we fit in the funnel, we want to be the solution. You've got a solution that in 30 seconds approves 90%, 85 to 90% of the customers. Now, I'll tell you, there's two things here. You're, we're always thinking about the customers who get declined, that's uncomfortable. A lot of customers are not applying, and a lot of office managers are not offering oh, the customer oh, beca uh -huh. because they don't want to go through the process. 100% agree with that. When you get declined, yes. you're my neighbor. You come, you work, we work, in, and you got declined, and, I, and you don't have a bad FICO, right. and I need to tell you that. So we're trying to change that where if I know that 85% of people get approved and it right. takes 30 seconds, and right. it's not hard, hurting your credit score, what we see is not only are, of course, more customers getting approved, but more ca customers are utilizing financing now. And that is the, that has always been the biggest challenge in dentistry. It's about getting it offered because it was that simple, right? Um, how, what, as part of your underwriting model, um, what percentage weight do you give to the FICO? So, so we're not looking on, on, at FICO. We also know the FICO, but at the end of the day, Think about this. FICO is when you buy a house, right? right? You're not or buying a, a house car, or, a, or car. a car, right? You need $2,000 and I want to offer it to you over the next 24 months. Correct. There's a risk there. But your FICO, if you bankrupt five years ago, that does not mean you're not going to make these payments. Correct. By the way, if you missed your AT&T payment for the last three months, 
That's different. That's different. So we look at different aspects. So when, when we, through that, when the customer gives us uh, the consent, we basically have the entire credit history of the customer in a split second. And that split second when you got approved. And we decide what are we going to offer each and every customer. It's not based on the FICO because FICO is not the right tool for deciding if I can give you $2,000 over the next 18 months. You're absolutely right because, you know, I mean, uh, there, there could be multitude of factors. And is that... Uh, is there any AI built into underwriting? 100%. So we're doing millions of dollars a week of transactions. And, and sometimes we make mistakes. I might have offered you $8,000 and that might have been a mistake, okay. you know? Okay. So we learn. The machine learns over time to say, hey, somebody looks like you, let's offer him $6,000 until he makes some payments. So, wow. so yes, definitely machine learning into this. There's a lot of aspects. And, you know, there's also, when you're in a FICO score, you can be there for multiple reasons. I'm an immigrant. Right. I have a low FICO score. I, I can still pay my bills, Right. right. <laughs> Uh, so FICO score, and, and there's also the, the counter to that, where somebody may have a perfect record of payments and a high FICO score, but maybe, you maybe know, $10,000 is a lot of money for them. So, so, again, FICO is the wrong way to look at it. At the end of the day, what we did is, and, you know, we have millions of customers, thousands of daily transactions, and the machine is learning. And I'll tell you one thing that's interesting. It's also different if you're going to the dentist or if you're fixing your car. Same customer, different behavior. Wow. Right? So we focus on non-discretionary and things where customers need money, you're not buying a nice Gucci bag, you're not buying a Peloton, you're buying something, you're helping your kid you know, get a root canal, and that has a very specific behavior, and that's where we focus, and that's where we're solving the problem. Last question really is, one of the challenges, uh, we talked about this a little bit, is dental office have is an ado adoption of any new technology. Mm -hmm. I struggle with it mm -hmm. at Patient Prism. Yep. You know, you can take everybody to the water, but you can't make them drink it. Right? Um, what how do you really onboard an office and, and, yeah. and get them, is there a training program? Where, uh, and I'm sure it's simple because if I could learn in 30 seconds, <laughs> it should not take that long. It's not like our stuff where we got to have them telephony and all this marketing stuff. Um, is there a customer success element to your yeah. team where you're making sure that, hey, guys, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing? And, or or are, you, are you helping these guys kind of develop new good habits yeah around financing? Yeah, so that's a great question. First of all, again, from day one from the product, we knew we need to make it simple. We knew there's you know, people moving in and out and we needed to make it simple. So our product is a next, 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 next button. You know, right. that, that's the way the product works. The customer needs to give consent, the customer needs to see the rates, but we, we built the product for that type of environment. And again, if you think about it, when you buy things from Amazon, it's very simple these days. Right? Oh, so, I mean, it literally takes 15, Sometimes you buy them by mistake. <laughs> you know, yeah. I just it's like buy it now and it's done. Exactly. It shows up. So, so we built the process that way. We do have a training team. We do require every associate or every employee to go through training. There's some videos. There's a, there's a training app, and we do train in, in the offices. But ultimately, the product is simple, and the, 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 because the approval rate is so high, they have a positive experience, and, and it picks up from there. But, but we do. We do invest in training. We do invest in materials. Um, and especially the, the big thing is when you've got new employees joining, how do you make sure that they know this product? What do you say to people, I, I thought of another question, what do you say to people who think they need five years to pay? Yeah. Or, or six, I mean, you, you, you got now terms going crazy now with... Uh, so, so our max term is, is 24 months. Um, and again, it's also aligned with the $10,000. So if you right. do the math, you, you can see where that comes up to. Um, we think that, that that's enough for, for those types of transactions. Um, so we haven't hit a customer that says, you know, I can't pay it over 24 months because the amount is too high. You divide the for numbers. For 10000 it's okay. Right. It was a $40,000 case. Yeah. I, I, We're, We're not there, there yet. Right. We're not there yet, but we will get there. But it, it's something in on, on the horizon. Yeah, 100%. To, it's just a matter of building the underwriting model. And, exactly. And, and, the underwriting model at, is different. It's different, right? It's different. The risk is different. The, all the loss reserves are different. Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm excited, terribly excited about technology and how it's solving problems. We talk about that a lot, but, but I think if we, if, if Sunbit is integrated as part of the workflow of an office, and, and uh, I think we could see case acceptance rates rise tremendously. Tremendously. Um, and, and this is what we need. This is the type of innovation we need in dentistry that really makes it easy on both parties, the doctor's side and the patient side and makes the most uncomfortable conversation very palatable. Yeah. And that's what Sunbit's doing. Yeah. Uh, 
What a pleasure it is. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do and how you guys dominate uh, this industry because I really think this is the product that, that the industry has been waiting for. Um, and um, I, I, can't, I can't wait to... I'll say one it. thing that I think it's interesting. When we looked at the industry, yeah. we saw two types of solutions. Yeah. There's solutions for prime customers. Everybody's going to approve the prime customer. Uh, of course, I would approve them. Yeah, right, well, exactly. I would lend to a prime customer. And then the other type of solutions are solutions that say, we will approve the customer, but Mr. Dentist, you're going to take the risk. Okay, right. those, and that's crazy. Right. So you, you started with, we raised a lot of money. We raised a lot of money to perfect that math because right. we should be able to you know, give a low FICO customer $2,000. There's a way to do that if you do that responsibly in a way they can pay. So, so we're really solving it by taking the whole approach end to end and um, it hasn't been done before. Not only in this industry, in any industry. It is, it is fascinating. So it's been a pleasure. Tal, Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to uh, learning more and, and seeing what you guys do. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you so again. much.